Hi there, I'm Rose Jacobs and welcome to this edition of Hot Performers. In today's show we'll be throwing some light on why Ardent Leisure shares are buzzing on the ASX today. The shares of Ardent Leisure Group, an ASX-listed Australia-based leisure and entertainment group, traded a tad higher at $1.57 per share during the early morning trading session today after there was a new update by the company in its ASX announcement. In the last 12 months, the share price of Ardent Leisure was gained over 153%, while Ardent shares are up 16.30% on year to date. Today, the group announced that its U.S. business main event entertainment has completed an asset acquisition of three family entertainment centers in Colorado, operating as The Summit. Ardent stated that the three centers, located within the Denver and Colorado Springs markets, provide main event with a rapid penetration into one of its target trade areas and its existing center situated in the Denver market. Well, on that note, let's get to know this acquisition better and discern how well the company is doing. Looking at the details of the acquisition, as per the company, the total contractual purchase price, which includes net of sale and leaseback proceeds, is approximately US $26 million and is funded with existing available liquidity at main event. Besides the combined unaudited last 12 months revenue for the three centres as of December 2021 was roughly US $24 million, while the normalised pro forma four-wall EBITDA margin is expected to be approximately 25%. Ardent Leisure has stated that the acquired summit centres would offer a similar variety of high-quality entertainment and food and beverage offerings as main event and would be led by strong operating teams. These acquired summit centres are also expected to be integrated within the main event brand over the coming months to maximise synergistic growth opportunities. Talking about its US business in its December 2021 half-year results, Ardent Leisure stated that main event has continued to perform above pre-COVID levels and they are optimistic that this positive momentum will continue into the second half of 2022. The recent reopening of Queensland borders, easing of restrictions and successful launch of the Steel Taipan roller coaster in December 2021 has seen the theme parks and attractions business pick up demand in both local and interstate markets during the latter part of the period. However, this was somewhat dampened by a surge in Omicron cases and impediments to travel related with state government COVID-19 testing requirements. Here's a look at the financial health of the company. Ardent Leisure's shares have been on investors' radars after the company announced its half-year results for the period ended 28th of December 2021. During the period, the company's revenue increased Australian $137.9 million. The company's strong revenue growth was driven primarily by the main event business's ongoing strong trading performance, which yielded a US $98.4 million increase in revenues. In Australian dollar terms, main event revenue increased by 106.5% on the prior period, reflecting the movement in foreign exchange rates. Ardent Leisure has not declared an interim dividend for financial year 2022, given the ongoing uncertainty in the environment. Net debt for the group was Australian $119.4 million as of 28th of December 21. And that's all for now from this edition of the Hot Performers Show. Keep watching Calkine TV for the latest on market and business news. I'm Rose Jacobs. Thank you for joining me.